Hello orchid loving friends. It's been a while since I posted a video. I know I was pretty consistent about posting every week, but um, we had some sadness. We lost um, one of our dogs, passed away about two weeks ago, and I just haven't had the heart um, to really post anything. And I've been a little neglectful of my orchids, so some of them have paid the price. Um, but I figured I would do an update video because there there are some changes. I did get some new orchids the day that my dog got sick, so I haven't showed you them yet, so I would like to do that. Um, the one that suffered the most from my neglect was the Miltoniopsis that I had with the beautiful yellow flowers. Um, if you can't hear my voice, I'm sorry, my dishwasher's on. I probably should have picked a better time to do this video. Um, anyways, I didn't notice, but she had completely dried out and the temperature uh, did spike in my house. And so what notified me that she was having a problem was that her blooms were drooping. And at that point it was too late um, to save them. The pseudobulbs were pretty badly desiccated. Um, She's still not happy. Some of her leaves are turning yellow. And uh, one just fell off right there in my hand. So yeah, she's she's pretty pissed off at me. And I don't really blame her. Um, I'm hoping I can save her. I don't know how these bounce back, if they bounce back. I know they're hard to grow. I took it on and then I neglected her. So she may not make it but I'm gonna do my darndest. So she's now moved to my ICU section. Um, so we'll see what happens with her. The rest of my ICU orchids are here. This is the one I've had the longest. As you can see, the leaves are continuing to grow. Still no roots, stubborn little devil, not giving me any roots. However, um, the other Phalaenopsis that has the same flowers that I've had in water culture I am so excited because she has two roots coming out. These orchids are in the Super Thrive, not the Miltoniopsis, um, but these Phalaenopsis are in the Super Thrive. Again, I don't know if the new leaves and the roots are a direct result of that, but I did notice these things starting to happen after I put them in the Super Thrive solution. Um, if, you're no, if you don't know what I'm talking about, my last video that I posted, I did post about the Super Thrive. Um, so you can check that out. This is the fowl that was dropping her leaves. She has this new one. She's starting this new one. So she's doing pretty good. Um, this is the Harlequin. This is the other one that suffered from my neglect. She's the one that had the big spike with all the flowers and she was having a root rot problem and I was not paying attention. This is why it's so important to check your orchids constantly um, because before you know it, this happens. And she only has two roots left and I had to cut off the flower spike. She does, she is still developing that other spike that, let me see if I can, she is still developing that other spike. I mean, Developing is kind of not the word to use. It's still there and it hasn't browned. But, and her leaves are still firm. She does still have the two roots. So we'll see what happens with her. Um, these are all the new orchids that I got here. I'll update you on those, but I just wanted to share something kind of, I think, funny about the two Phalaenopsis. So this is the Young Home Sweetie. And this is the Fuller's Gold Stripe that I got, I don't know, like two, two and a half months ago. And this young lady, I guess, hated the transition to my home and she blasted all of her blooms on this spike except for one. The um, secondary spike stalled. Um, she opened her bloom so slowly, but now she is extending. I guess I should go around this way. She is extending her blooms. So I guess she's finally settling in. And also the Fuller's Gold Stripe, who 
took the change a little bit easier is also extending. This one secondary spike has also stalled. So I don't know if it's just gonna concentrate on extending these and then move on, but I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm kind of excited that it's finally settling into my environment and it seems to like what I'm doing with it. So I thought that was interesting and to share that. I know sometimes when blooms start to fall, we just have a tendency to cut back the spike, but sometimes, I guess depending on how hybridized it is and how close to the species it is, sometimes the spikes will extend. So keep an eye on, you know, the tip of your flower spike. And if it still seems healthy, you know, let it go for a little while, unless the orchid is unhealthy. And then, you know, you can always cut the spike to try to give it a boost of energy towards where it needs to, like growing leaves and growing roots. So again, these are my new orchids. Um, I decided to get a few more cattleyas because I find for myself, most people say Phalaenopsis are the easiest to uh, switch over to water culture, but I find that's not necessarily true with me. I find that my Phalaenopsis, with the exception of three, my Young Home Sweetie, my Fuller's Gold Stripe, and then the other one with the little purple dots, they dump their roots when I put them in water culture. So the Cattleyas don't really seem to be bothered by it. They seem actually to be pretty hardy when it comes to the crossover to water culture. Oncidiums also, I find, are pretty easy going when it comes to crossing them over to water culture. Um, so this is the first orchid that I got, and I'm not gonna pronounce any names unless I can pronounce them. So this is an Anne Cleo Lee. Uh, I did, let me see if I can show you. I did get pictures. That's what she looks like. Um, so she's yellow and she's got some reddish purple on her lip. Now she came in one pot, but she is clearly three plants. <laughs> when I unpotted her, she fell apart. So one pot, I paid extra money for a larger pot and she's three plants. So that, that, that annoyed me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I feel like that's kind of false advertising. And like I said, I did pay extra money for a larger pot for a bigger plant so that I would hopefully get bloom sooner. And now I come to find out it's three plants in one pot. So I was a little irritated. She's in pretty good shape. She has a new growth on both of these. See, she has one there too. And the one back here had a new growth that was rotten. Let me put her down so I can maybe show you. Had a one growth that was rotten, but she has eyes on this growth. So instead of cutting it off because it was rotten, I'm gonna let it go and see if these eyes do anything. So that's her. Now my next one is this one. It's the yeah, I don't know if I should even attempt that one. I know the first word and the second word I can say, but the one starting with the M, I'm gonna, I don't know, Alyssa Nehemi Compton, I guess. So she has these beautiful orange blooms with yellow in the center. And she has three growths on her, so she's doing really good. She is clearly, however, a division of a bigger plant. She has some cut rhizomes so this was clearly a bigger plant that they cut and they put into different, into a, you know, pot by itself, which I'm okay with. I mean, it looks like she's a mature plant. It looks like she has bloomed on every single one of the pseudobulbs that I got. So hopefully these new growths, which get bigger every single day, will also bloom. So I'm not as upset about that one. Although she wasn't cheap and I had her on my wish list for a while because her blooms are so gorgeous. So we'll see what happens with her. I really hope that she does bloom because it would be disappointing if she didn't after spending the extra money on her. Uh, this is the next one. This is the Dorothy Feeney Villa Park. That's what her blooms are gonna look like. Um, she does not have any previous spikes that I could find. She does have a very advanced new growth so I don't know how far off she is. Oh, maybe I misspoke. Nope, 
I do not. Um, oh, here's another new growth right here. I don't know how far off she is from blooming, uh, but that's what the blooms are going to look like when, when and if she does decide she's happy and she'd like to give me a sheath. Um, like I said, I've only had her for a little under two weeks. All of these are for a little under two weeks. Um, this is the next one. She is ginormous. Uh, she has bloomed several times. She is seemingly doing pretty good. She has this new growth here, and then she has this very mature growth here. Not quite mature. And then around the other side, she has another one. And this is what she's going to look like. And this is the um, LC Ida Elizabeth Enchanting. So I thought that this was just gorgeous with, ooh, silly, with the, um, the white with the pins of purple. And so I'm really excited to see what she looks like. I'm really hoping that these semi-mature growths are gonna put out sheaths, we'll see. Um, the next one is another Miltoniopsis. No, I did not learn my lesson. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I got her before I neglected the other one. So anyways, she's beautiful. I'm just loving these blooms. She came with three buds. Um, they've been slowly opening since I got her. This was the first one to open. Uh, she also has a new growth forming there. So that's good. So she seems like she's She's pretty happy. So we'll see how that goes. Should I show you the tag? I don't know if I did. I am not attempting this name. You can try to figure that out. And then the last one that I got is this one. It's an Oncidium. Uh, this one I can pronounce for you. This is um, Oncidium Sweet Sugar Lemon Drop. And she came with a spike. And she is opening. The blooms are coming out looks good so that's exciting she has no scent for some reason I thought the um, sweet sugar had a scent but it doesn't but that's fine the blooms are really pretty I actually prefer this one the lemon drop over the regular sweet sugar because it has more yellow in it so that's pretty um, okay so then the last thing I want to update you with is um, my orchids that are either in spike or almost in bloom. So this is the Oncidium Saiku Marguerite that I showed you uh, the last update. This spike that was coming here. Well, in inspecting her foliage a couple of days ago, I found another one on the other side of that pseudobulb. So she's going to have two spikes, and this is on the most mature of the new growths. This other one over here doesn't have any spikes yet, but it's just now starting to form a pseudobulb, so maybe it will get spikes off of this. Those will fade, and then the next one will get spikes. So I'm looking forward to that. My Shari baby is still doing good. I did move her to a different spot in my house, thinking that I would get her more light in that spot. And her flower spike is still growing. As you can see, it's all the way up here now. However, it's growing much slower, and I don't know if that's just because she's gonna start putting buds on the spike. But I don't know if it's because I moved her, so I, I, I moved her back. And then also, too, she was closer to my coffee maker, and this happened. I was so neglectful, it's so terrible. Yeah, these people that say that they have orchids and they just set them and forget them, <laughs> I don't know how they do that because if I neglect my orchids for any length of time, I end up with stuff like that and the, the poor little Miltoniopsis that now is missing her blooms, I don't even know if she's gonna make it. Um, I showed you the new growth that was forming right in here. He's still there, he's slightly bigger. So she may be putting out another new growth soon. And then clearly the most happy event is my Betty Ford that had that flower sheath forever that I showed you the shadow in. Well, she is ready to bloom. Um, I was expecting the, this to bloom this weekend. So I'm hoping maybe she does. 
but as you can see she's got happy sap all over her the color is starting to show on the blooms these were very waxy and now they're starting to get a little bit of um, like a softness to them and color to them so I think if not this weekend then shortly thereafter she should be blooming so I'm kind of excited to see what these look like they these buds are huge I mean my fire wings pegasus had big big buds but these are even bigger so I'm excited to see what happens with this one um, if there's anything that I left out that you'd like me to update you on just let me know uh, but this is pretty much what my orchids are doing right now not too too many blooms you know most of them are kind of going through their growing cycle you know um, my phalaenopsis that are in ICU are finally starting well one of them is finally starting to put out roots this stubborn guy is just giving me leaves <laughs> and no roots but he's still alive so we're gonna go with that um, yeah so if there's anything else that you want me to update you with or any questions that you have in reference to my new orchids or anything like that let me know otherwise I'll update you as things happen hopefully my Meltoniopsis will pull through and my new orchids will like their new environment. Alright, I'll talk to you next time.